Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to access your server remotely and how to get access to the various services that you set up when you're not in front of your server. I've had a number of uh, questions lately on how to do that and so I thought I'd do a screencast just to give you a few different ways you can get into your server uh, from a remote location so that you know how to administrate it. Uh, now, before we get started, one of the things I do want to tell you is uh, just to remind you, if you are a .private uh, type of address that you've got on your server where you need VPN to get back into your server and that's the only channel that you've got, you've got need to make sure that you start VPN in order to get going. So again, you could come up here to your VPN and just connect to the VPN uh, based on how we set it up in the VPN uh, server tutorial. And then that way, that would give you remote access to your server. Uh, but you would need to be on VPN first. If you've got a registered domain name, then you can just get in by uh, putting in your domain name, as I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I wanted to clear that up because you may try this. And if you're not connected to VPN, you'll wonder why it's not working. And that's because you need to have VPN going. Again, if you're .local and you just set up local file sharing, you won't have remote access. Uh, the other thing to remind you is that you do need the ports open on your router in order for this to work. And so you want to make sure that you uh, either have opened the ports on your third-party router or if you've got an Apple Airport Extreme base station connected to your server then and, and let server manage it, then server would have opened those ports for you. But just want to remind you that, that you need that to get started. So one of the things I want to show you first is that you can actually use the server application to connect to your server and administrate it uh, remotely. Now, right now I'm on a screen share into uh, a remote Mac right now, and so I want to show you how this works. Uh, you would launch server on your remote uh, Mac. You need to download it from the Mac App Store uh, in order to do that. But when you get to this screen, you want to make sure you don't click continue because that will actually install server components on that remote machine and actually set up a brand new server, not connect you to your existing one. Uh, what you want to do instead is uh, click this button over here that says Other Mac. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up uh, various Macs and things that you have available. Now, I'm on my local network right now, so it's actually showing uh, my Mac server right here. Uh, but what you would normally do is just click Other Mac right here and say Continue. And then you would put in your host IP address, you put in your administrator name and your administrator password, and then click Connect, and you'll actually connect to your server. Now, again, you can put in your host name, server.example.com, uh, or you can put in your IP address, you know, one, uh, you know, one, one nine two dot six one six five, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the public IP address is what you would put in here if you wanted to use that. And then again, an administrator name and password, and that would get you connected. What that will do is that will actually connect you to the server. So let me just show you for a second. I'm going to connect to uh, my server right here, and let me put in my information. Okay, once I have that information in there, I click connect. And remember, I'm on a, a remote Mac. I'm just going to click continue on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually uh, log me into my server and it's going to connect me to the actual server application as if I was sitting in front of my server. So as you can see right here, uh, this is the application as if I was sitting in front of my server. I can actually go in and make all the changes that I need to make to my server. And when I make these changes, they will actually take effect on the server. So this is one way that you could administrate the server remotely is just actually through the server application. And that gives me access to everything else up here. Uh, I can do, use the tools screen sharing if I want to, and I can do a screen share uh, right from here to my server. So if I just uh, clicked on that, it asks me for the host name uh, in order to screen share. So I'm going to screen share. It'll probably show this screen on my desktop when I do that. So let me log into that. And so I can put that in and say connect. And then again, it's going to ask me to log in uh, to bring up that screen share. So I'm going to connect, and so now it's going to show me this cascading screen share because it's actually screen sharing uh, to my screen share. So anyways, that shows you that I can get into the server this way. Let me just close that down because that's distracting. Uh, that's, one, that's another way that you can get in. So you can do that right from within the server application itself on your Mac. Uh, another thing you can do, if I just, uh, let me just put this down for a second. If I just click off this, uh, I can also connect to my server through the Go menu up here. If I just click Go and I say Connect to Server, then what I can do is I can actually VNC into my server. Now VNC, uh, using that into the server, means that you're basically going to start a screen share. And so you can start that right from here, and I'll get the same screen share that I just showed you earlier. That will come up and actually connect to my server, and that's another way that you can screen share. So you can do it right from the Go menu at the top instead of having to do it from server, and uh, that makes it much more convenient. 
Uh, you can also uh, AFP into your uh, server, and that is basically where you would uh, connect to your shares that you have set up, your file sharing. I showed you that earlier, but if I just do this, uh, since I'm already logged into the server, it shows me my file shares, and I can actually mount those file shares and have them show up in my sidebar. So that's another way that I could connect using the AFP or SMB service uh, in order to connect in there, and also through uh, FTP. I can get in that way as well, uh, right from that Go menu. I'm just going to cancel that for a minute. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also get into your server uh, in, in different ways as well. Uh, if I went into um, an actual web browser here, I can also get in through the web browser. If I just type in, you know, afp.server.toddletoff.com, and then I just hit enter, uh, then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to connect me to the server. So I can put that information in there and have it also connect me to the server. Like I said, I can do that with F FTP and, and all those things as well. Now, one of the things you're not going to see, and I've had this question uh, asked of me, is you won't be able to browse your file structure in the web browser. So it's not like when you FTP into some websites that they give you the uh, file browsing and everything right here in the website. It's actually going to use the Finder uh, in many cases to connect you uh, to that. So I just wanted to let you know that that even though I put that information in here in a web browser, that doesn't mean that it's actually going to show me that information in the web browser. Instead, it uses the Finder uh, in order to make that stuff work. So I just want to let you know um, that that was the case as well uh, in terms of how that uh, how that's set up. So that all of your information then when you actually connect to your shares and, uh, and those sorts of things are going to show here inside uh, the actual Finder. Now, one thing that you can do if you want to make it easier, if you're in the Finder anyway and you want to browse some of your shares that are located on your server, uh, what you can do is customize your toolbar to actually add the Connect to Server icon right here. And you can see it says Connect to a Server. If I click that, it's just like going to the Go menu, and it actually brings this information up. So it's kind of a tip that would just speed that up for you. Uh, in order to customize uh, that, you just uh, right-click or Control-click on your toolbar here, and you say Customize Toolbar. And you get this drop down, and you just want to put this connect thing, drag it up here to your toolbar, and uh, then say done. And that will actually save that up there. So it just makes it uh, a convenient one click way uh, to get access to your different shares. Since they're going to show up in the finder anyway, uh, it's a good way to mount them because then uh, you, you're right here when they get mounted in the sidebar. And uh, makes it really convenient. So that's another way that you can do that and gives you, uh, gives you quick access to uh, your information. Now, some other things that you can do as well is you can um, actually use a third-party uh, uh, VNC client or screen sharing client in order to connect to your server. Uh, I've shown some of those on the channel uh, before, um, things like Splashtop and, and some of those other ones. Uh, I'll probably try to maybe do another one uh, in a screencast just to give you an idea of some of the other ones that are out there. But just wanted to let you know you can uh, use those third-party screen uh, share uh, services as well. And that will allow you to connect to your server remotely from, from that uh, perspective. Now, one, uh, one more thing that you can do, and like I said, I've done a screencast on this before, is you can connect to your remote network accounts, uh, but you need to VPN in first, and then uh, it'll take you to a login screen. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably do another screencast to show you how that works here with Maverick server. Um, or I'll just also put some of the information in there so you can find the one we did for Mountain Lion Server. But that's another way that you can connect as well. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can connect to your server and administrate it remotely. Uh, that is the beauty of having a server with a registered domain name, uh, or if you VPN in, is to be able to connect remotely. And so hopefully that helps you get started with it. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.